It was found that mountain temples have existed prior to the Ingo period itself. However, we only start seeing noticeable improvement of this style through the rising elevation and significant size, especially in Bakong Temple, which is also one of the mountain temples. Bakong Temple utilized its sheer physique, over 15 hectares of land located in the ancient Hari Haralaya city, present-day Bakong district, Simri province. This 9th century temple was named after King Indra Waraman I once he finished his ceremonial event of a nearby Prako temple. During the Inko period, a mountain temple generally was named after a sacred divine and a king who built it. Therefore, Bakong Temple was originally named Andre Svara. Bakong Temple is regarded as the first model for other mountain temples. As for the temple architecture, Bakong started to incorporate elaborative elevation. There are in total five steps of elevation which contributed to the height and beauty of the temple. In addition, there are smaller towers built on the fourth elevation and bigger ones on the ground floor. Some of the bigger towers were either built of clay or laterite stones combined with sandstone. Another special feature about this temple is the animal statues. There are numerous statues such as Kemet Henu cow figures, which represents Shiva's means of transportation, statues of lions in front of the four cardinal direction staircases, and elephant figures at every secondary direction. As for Naga sculptures, they are placed directly onto the ground in contrast to the 12th century style which Naga were placed on a rice surface. Furthermore, the architectural designs in the 9th century is found to be influenced dramatically from Java. Nevertheless, the influence diminished later in the following course of time and shifted to the adoption toward the Khmer styles. Therefore, we can see noticeable differences in styles and architectural designs especially during the Inko period when compared to the previous generation. In addition to the temple's design, we can see marvelously large moat that is believed to be the starting point in creating the city of water. The Indra Tataka water reservoir built by King Indra Varman I spans the dimension of 3,800 meters in length and 800 meters in width. It is capable of storing sufficient amount of water to supply farmers during the dry season and sustain the surrounding temples. Generally, mountain temples are constructed to resemble Mount Meru, surrounded by the sea, which is a common belief in Hinduism. In order to create that, ancient engineers must excavate the nearby land and pile the soil into a shape of a mountain. Next, they proceeded to create elevations that are shelled by sandstone and clay. Occasionally, laterite stones were also incorporated as well. Therefore, the digging process created an artificial mountain and surrounding waterways, which represents both the mythical mountain and sea. Finally, the depth of the reservoir heavily depends on the size of the temple and the quantity of soil that the temple needs. Currently, experts witness a tower rest in the middle top of the temple. It is suspected to be created in the 12th century judging upon the carvings, features and designs. However, contrasting ideas suggested that this tower was constructed afterwards during the era of King Yasovarman II. On the other hand, the carvings on each elevation tells a story. For instance, the lowest elevation depicts stories based on Vishnu, the eastern gable tells the story of Shiva, the northern gable illustrates a story of Rama and Naga, and the western gable 
demonstrates a picture of a sleeping Vishnu. Unfortunately, some of the illustrations were eroded and experts could not make sense of the story. If you have a chance to visit Bakong Temple, it would make a worthwhile trip if you have taken the time to look at individual towers. The Buddhist pagoda that was later on incorporated into the temple is also an unforgettable sight when viewing from the reflection of the moat from outside. Despite aging for thousands of years, the details on the temple wall, colonnade, blind door, and lintel are still mesmerizing until today.